Hey guys, Cheeky's newly done. And now we're gonna be doing the hair in Octane, a couple of tips about how to texture it lengthwise and whatnot, and yeah, let's get on it, we're nearly done. Need rigs, Ace Fight Studios has rigs. Okay, so next step, I wanna add some of that hair that we had over here on his butt. And we're gonna do that with the hair tool. Now, so let's go simulate. Firstly, actually, uh, we're not going to use this mesh because this mesh is way too dense. Because if we go to wireframe mode, you can see it's way too dense for what we're doing. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to copy this. We're going to select this guy. We're going to go show layer manager. We're going to drag this down to one. And then we're going to delete this guy. Nope. If we delete, see how it all shifted? That's incorrect. What we're going to do is drag it to one and then right click and go current state to object. And then delete this body mesh one. And then this should match up ideally. Yep, these match up perfectly. So it's gonna be called hair mesh. And let's hide our body mesh for a second. Let's delete these materials from it. Close this thing. Now, this hair mesh doesn't need a null. There you go. We're gonna grow some hair on this. So let's go simulate hair objects, add hair. Now, obviously we don't want the hair everywhere there. We want the hair just on some sections of him. So let's select our hair mesh. Let's select polygons and selection tool and let's maybe click drag this guy a bit bigger this is where we want the hair to be hold shift to add hold control to remove so this is where we want the hair to be so in our hair object here we can just go to editor nope hairs guides and instead of hair mesh which is a geometry object oh we need to create first let's select that geometry object and go select and it's called store selection some of is called set selection basically you click this button here and i'll create this little triangle we can call this hair selection and then in hair here in guides link we drag this into here and look it basically worked as it is just in case i would go to pairs and growth not growth where is it? Guides growth. Nope. Guides editing. Nope. I always lose this. There we go. <laughs> so it's in guides, editing, and reroute and regrow. And it shouldn't affect too much, but basically sometimes if you made some changes, let's change our roots. Nope. Guides. Let's change our length. That's too long. So let's bring it down. Now, if we hit render, <laughs> you'll see it's a very dense kind of furry thing, which isn't really what we want because in our reference, there's way less of these. So let's reduce the number of hairs significantly. Let's get our hair and hairs and change to, I don't know, 50. Okay, so that's pretty close, maybe 150. That seems about right. Now, maybe increase the length a bit, maybe bit too short here and I will apply a black material to them for now just to make it easier to see so I go materials create glossy material and let's call this hair and I just apply it on top of the hair don't replace this material because this material we're still going to use it's underneath but this one here and let's make it diffuse and black just so we can see what we're dealing with okay um let's go to our hair material now double click it this one, which is the standard one. And this one's still in the basic type. It's a whole bunch of stuff. We can turn on frizz, for example. Um, maybe we can turn on some curl. And you can see now we're getting some effects here. Maybe we can even do some kink. There you go. Now you're getting a bit of stuff going on there. Now, in our thickness tab here, let's change this. Let's change both of these to 10 or something. Maybe 10 is too big. Maybe 2. There you go. Right now, you'll see that it doesn't have any, um, it doesn't taper because I prefer to make the tapering with the curve here. There you go. And then if I want to make the thickness a bit smaller, I just drag it down and it's just easier to control it like this, I think. Just set these to the same value. Okay, so we're going pretty well there. Um, the main thing that I want to do is right now, let's hide our hair mesh because we're going to see it show our body mesh. 
Right now, it looks like it's very, like it's just jabbed into the skin. There's no kind of, you know, uh, gradient because like really the skin is see-through. So you should be able to see the hair inside the skin. Now let's turn off our whatever kink and stuff for a second and frizz and curl so that we can just see the straight lines. We can even make the thickness go to like four for now so that we can actually see it happening. What we want is we want to apply an alpha gradient, which will control how bright they are. So let's select our node material, node editor, sorry, it's our octane material, or over here. And what we want is we want to find this thing called the W chord. Press W and it's nicely hidden. Now look, if we pump this into diffuse, you see how it's black at the bottom, white at the top, which is perfect. Now all we need to do is get a gradient node, octane gradient, drag under this yellow line. And now we just want to control so that it's a bit sharper. So this transition is just towards the bottom. See if we drag these oops. If we drag these guys up, you'll see that there's now the transition and we just want it to be down the, towards the bottom and oops, that's about, yeah. So basically we just want to drag it out towards the bottom and, and then we just basically what we do is instead of feeding to diffuse, we just grab this and feed it into opacity. And there you go. Now, if you have a look, you see there's, it doesn't have a sharp kind of edge there. It kind of fades in and you can control how far that fade in is by just dragging the um, you can drag the white up and it'll fade in further. And it's just a really nice kind of effect that you can, you know, it's a much softer transition. And you can make the hairs generally a bit more transparent because hair is the kind of slightly transparent and just drag this maybe to a, yeah, it's too much about there. So there you have it. That's how we add hair. Let's go back to our hair material. Let's turn on our curl and kink and frizz. Let's zoom out of this again. So we're back to where we, and the thickness should probably be back to two because that is a bit too thick. I think that's about what we want with the hair. Maybe a bit more hair, maybe make the color or so hair color, give me orange, more red, a bit darker, more towards orange. I think that's about right. Well, you can play with this. Basically the important thing was that I showed you how the W chord and the gradient to Control transparency in either route because that makes it much nicer straight away. Um, here there's basically a whole bunch of settings you can play around with. Um, it's just a matter of clicking and testing. Oh, also a useful thing. Sorry, totally forgot about this. Let's pause this. We can actually display this in the viewport so that we can go to, where is it? editor and we can change this to hairlines and make sure this is set to max because we don't have that much hairs. And then in the viewport, you can actually see what's, let's close this guy. We can actually see what's going on with the hairs. And then when we tweak stuff, we don't have to wait for the render or anything. We just scale 20, scale 200, doesn't do anything, scale one. Um, maybe we can make them frizzing happening earlier. Nope. Um, kinking, there you go. This, that seems to look a bit better for what we're looking for. And the curl, there you go. That's what we wanted. <clears throat> Advanced. <clears throat> I think that's about what we want with the hair. Let's get our Octane Live Viewer back. See what it looks like. There you go. That's the kind of hair we want. We want it to be longer. Let's get our hair and guides and maybe 30. Body. Oh, 
Okay. I'm digging it. Um, I think it's too thick now, though. Let's get out the thickness. Let's drag it down. I think that looks like all we want. Maybe. Maybe increase the amount of hairs. Solid. I think that's about it. I think that's sufficiently disgusting. <laughs> We're doing well. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if you need rigs, Ace 5 Studios has rigs. We have free rigs up here that you can use in your personal projects. We have Mari and Mia and 5J Pack for explainers and arms and legs. And Maria has a bunch of cats and animals you can use and here, if you go through Mari, has a full face rig, which you, can, you know, it's lots of functionality. You can use them in your projects. Mia is also fully rigged. Um, you can use her as a host or to sell your product. Um, also have the arms and legs pack, which you can put together to build your own characters. And you, they're already rigged, so you don't need to do any weight painting. You just have to stick them together and ready to go. Or you have 5J people for your explainer videos and other stuff. So don't forget to check it out. and. See you next time.